Okay, so please ignore my funny tinge here. I'm in my daughter's room. Um, I'm about four days past transfer. I didn't get a chance to make a video about transfer. Uh, we transferred on Sunday. It's Thursday. Um, uh, my last post was about meds and keeping track of them and it kind of just gave a quick overview of everything that I was taking and had been posted right at the time um, that I had started pre-transfer meds. Um, so transfer went off without a hitch. We went up on Saturday, went Sunday morning, very easy. It was just like a pap smear. Um, I've had some leaking since then. They told me to expect that, that I would have some... Uh, some fluid discharge and and stuff like that so uh, everything seems to be normal we're just waiting on a beta transfer it's gonna be next weekend that we'll get the or not beta transfer excuse me a beta HCG um, to see if transfer took and see if our little munchkin butt stuck in there and did what it's supposed to do um, this post is more just to update I called my clinic today mainly because uh, They've got me on the daily progesterone injection, so I'm taking 0.5 of progesterone in oil every day, um, alternating hip sites, so between right hip, basically my right upper buttocks, to my left upper buttocks every day. Um, and I called them and contacted them today because I am in just an immense, immense amount of pain. I am sitting on a heating pad right now. Um, I knew that the progesterone would hurt and I anticipated it hurting. It's an oil, it's thick, it's viscous. It is not easy to inject. My husband, he says it, it provides a lot of resist, resistance. Um, being a nurse, I knew to expect this. Uh, I know what these medications feel like going in. I know how bad they hurt. And it's really been very manageable up until this week. Um, and this week I have two rather large lumps one on each butt cheek, but the one on the left seems to be so, so much more painful. Um, to the point where even just walking is so, so, so uncomfortable. Um, I can't touch it. I can't lay on it. I can't sit on it. The right side is not as bad, but even just bending my knee, pull, it's like having, almost like having a pulled muscle down in through the lower aspect of my buttocks into my leg where it meets my thigh. Um, I called a friend of mine who is an experienced surrogate regarding the matter and she was like, nope, it's normal, it's supposed to hurt. But as I started telling her more about how it hurt and how it felt and how large the lumps were, she was like, that does not sound normal. She goes, that is not what I experienced at all. I contacted my clinic, they went back and forth. So they are switching me from the progesterone injections to progesterone lodgings as uh, my contact at, at the agency. <laughs> my contact at the agency... Um, seems to think that it might be just an allergic reaction. But I'm concerned, honestly, that it might be a blood clot. Um, if it doesn't start feeling better in the next day, next 24 hours, uh, with no injections, then I'm, I'm going to go into the emergency room or the urgent care because it is so painful. Uh, I told my clinic that as a medical professional, if one of my patients was complaining of this pain and had these symptoms and um, I felt on her backside what I feel on mine I would be notifying my doctor and letting them know I am applying heat to it there's not a whole lot you know that I can take uh, especially given that I'm already on the aspirin therapy um, there's the potential that I may be pregnant um, we've yet to test uh, so we don't know if it's held or not but you know you can't take ibuprofen when you're pregnant so that's out of the picture. You can take Tylenol and that's basically what she suggested. Um, but if it doesn't get better, I am going to seek some higher medical advice and, and have it actually evaluated by a physician or a physician's assistant. Um, as far as transfer and baby stuff, uh, I've been a little bit crampy. Um, I have one girlfriend who swears she cramped like that every single pregnancy. Uh, she is a firm believer that it's implantation cramping. Um, my girlfriend who's been a surrogate said that, uh, she had a lot of pain post-transfer with her progesterone shots the first time, uh, and she carried that baby to term, and the second transfer they did, this just recently, she said, um, she didn't have any pain with it, and she ended up not holding on to either of the babies that they placed in, in her uterus. Um, so she's of the 
of the mind that if it hurts, it's a good thing. I'm of the mind of my butt cheek feels like it's going to fall off. I feel like it is screaming at me and telling me to run away in the other direction. And yeah, I just, I don't know that I can handle it. And I'm usually a pretty tough chick. So um, I'm going to test home pregnancy tests later this week. I tested this morning um, and it came back negative, but I'm going to give it another four days. They said uh, usually between, sorry, five and eight days is when you will test positive at home. Um, I'm going to give it a couple more days. We've had a rough go, uh, not we, but the parents have had a rough go of things. They've had two failed transfers of the previous surrogate already. And um, I'm a little, con not concerned, but I, I can't help but wonder, was it the embryo that was the, the issue or was it the surrogate? So, I mean, we'll see. We're not sure, but I'm really hoping and praying for those sticky, sticky thoughts that munchkin butt stayed right where it's supposed to and... And it's just a little too early to test and get a positive yet. So we'll see. We'll give it a couple more days and we'll test again. All right, guys, if you have any questions or any topics, just comment down below. Bye.